What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, Revis Talk Sports. I will be continuing my NFL Division Bowl Prediction Series. And this video, I will be talking about the NFC South. So without further ado, let's hop into the video. So the first team that I want to be talking about is the Atlanta Falcons. And my bowl prediction for this team is that Drake London will get at least 1,000 receiving yards. He is such a super talented wide receiver who was drafted in the 2022 NFL draft. And unfortunately, he's had to deal with subpar quarterback play. In 2022, he had to deal with Marcus Mariota and Desmond Ritter. A few times and then 2023 he had to deal with Desmond Ritter so as you see based on those past two years during his rookie deal he's had to deal with subpar quarterback play and coming into 2024 the Atlanta Falcons did a great job taking care of the quarterback position by signing Kirk Cousins so I believe that Kirk Cousins is gonna let the ball fly a lot in this Atlanta Falcons team. And they also have new offensive coordinator, Zach Robinson, who was part of the Los Angeles Rams offensive coordinator, in which he helped Puka Nakua set a historical rookie season. With Kirk Cousins, he's had at least one player that had a thousand receiving yards in every single year, whether that was Adam Thielen, Stephon Diggs, and Justin Jefferson. And I believe he will continue that trend with his new wide receiver one and Drake London. So Drake London, he will get at least 1,000 receiving yards this upcoming season. Now, the second team that I want to talk about is the Carolina Panthers. And me personally, I think they're going to win more games in 2024 than they did last year. The Carolina Panthers did a great job taking care of the offensive line during the offseason. They took care of the left guard position and right guard position. So I believe they will protect Bryce Young a lot better this year, in which the Panthers did give up the second most sacks this past season. So when your team is giving up a lot of sacks, it is very hard to get the offense going and get the ball rolling a lot. And I think the Panthers did a great job in free agency. And I also think they had a solid draft class in which they got Xavier Leggett, Jonathan Brooks, and so on, especially John Tavian Sanders, who was the second best tight end in the NFL draft. So by the Panthers surrounding Bryce Young with great talent, they have Deontay Johnson, Adam Thielen, Xavier Leggett. They also have Jonathan Mingo. And at the running back position, they have Hubbard. Jonathan Brooks, Miles Sanders, they took care of the offensive line. So I think the offense will be a lot better. And what people don't realize is last season, even though the Panthers weren't a top team, they were pretty subpar. Um, they actually had a top five passing defense and defensive coordinator Evero did a great job scheming that pass defense. So I believe they will continue that trend as the secondary is intact. Yes, they did lose Brian Burns. They did lose Luvu. But they can they did get Jadavian Clowney. Um, I don't think he's gonna be at the Brian Burns level, but I believe he'll be a great rotational piece on the edge position. But the secondary is still intact. I believe defensive coordinator Evero will still continue to have the Panthers be a top five, top ten passing defense. And as far as the offense, they surrounded Bryce Young with great offensive talent and took care of the line. So I do believe that the Panthers will win more games in 2024 than they did last year. Now, the third team that I'm talking about is the New Orleans Saints. And unfortunately, this was very hard for me to say this, but I think they will miss the playoffs for the fourth year in a row. Me, personally, I think the NFC South is going to come down to the Buccaneers and the Atlanta Falcons. Um, with the Saints, they have Derek Carr starting to become an aging quarterback. Alvin Kamara isn't getting any younger. Then they have Cam Jordan and Demario Davis in their mid-30s. Tyron Matthew is in his 30s. So I believe this is just an aging group. Um, the offensive line did not do Derek Carr much justice for him to be protected in the pocket. I don't, I'm not saying that all of the blame is on Derek Carr of last season, but he did get banged up a lot. They did draft Troy Fatunu, and who I believe is probably going to play that left tackle position. So I think the line will be a bit better. But me, I just don't think that Dennis Allen is the coach to take the Saints team into a playoff spot, nor do I believe that he will make this team. Um, I believe he'll make it a bit competitive. They did have a solid defense last year, but I just don't have much faith in Dennis Allen 
for them to be competitive against the Buccaneers and the Atlanta Falcons. And I just don't think that, you know, with the aging group that they have, I just think that they will miss the playoffs for the fourth year in a row. Unfortunately, I think for you to kind of make the playoffs as well as win the division in the NFC South, you got to get at least nine to 10 wins. And I just don't think the Saints will get that with their upcoming schedule. I think they'll probably get about seven to eight wins. So I think they will miss the playoffs with my bold prediction. My bold prediction. Now, last but not least, I will be talking about the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and I do believe that they will be divisional winners for the fourth straight year. This was very, very tough. I think it's going to come down to the Falcons and the Buccaneers. Yes, the Falcons, they get a new quarterback. The wide receiver room is revamped. So I think the their offense will be solid. But last year, they were dead last in pass rush rate. I don't think the Falcons did enough in the offseason, nor did I think they did enough in the draft to make this defense solid as well as getting after the quarterback. So I think that the Falcons will have a great offense, probably a top 10 passing yard team, but I feel like the Falcons have a team that their defense is probably going to make them lose some important games down the stretch. And with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers by them re-signing Baker Mayfield, Mike uh, Mike Evans is coming back. So they pretty much have the offense intact with Chris Godwin's there, Kate Auden. Um, they have Rashad White. And I think they had a really solid draft as well. I mean, they have Bucky Irvin, who I believe will be a great third down back in passing situations, as well as a change in pace back for Rashad White. They took care of the center position by getting the number one center in the draft, Graham Barton. So this can be a 1,000 receive, uh, rushing yard season for Rashad White. Um. As far as the defense, yes, they did lose Devin White. They did lose Carlton Davis, but they did draft um, Tyke Smith, who I believe is probably one of the top hybrid secondary players in the draft who who could play safety as well as play corner. They did get Jordan Whitehead. So I think this team is intact. Um, I think Todd Bowles is going to do a great job getting the defense back in the playoff mix. And I do believe that they're going to have this running back mentality. And I honestly trust the Buccaneers defense than I do with the Falcons defense. Um, But this team has a running back mentality. And I think they will be divisional winners for the fourth straight year. A lot of people are cutting out the Buccaneers and they're just giving the crown to the Atlanta Falcons. But I don't think that the Falcons are going to away are going to run away with the NFC South that easy. So I think the Buccaneers are going to give them a run for their money. And I just just believe that the Buccaneers will have a nice solid season in back. In four straight years um, as divisional winners. So me personally, my bold prediction is that the Buccaneers will win a division in four straight years. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed the content. Please give the video a thumbs up if you enjoy the content. And please comment below on your thoughts on my NFC South bold predictions. Thank you so much and catch you next time.